What's up guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another first season of the NHL 22. I hope you all enjoyed this part of the game of the matchups of the NHL. Plus, we're also um, expecting you guys that you hope you all enjoy the NHL All-Star game. In between those guys, you uh, you know, you remember that one here. Pacific, Metropolitan, Central, and Atlantic. They're all, all fantastic. They already did a great job here. And what a play it has been here so far. So, in just a few more days and months, in, I mean, a few more months, uh, at the end of the game for our last regular season matchup, we will have the Stanley Cup playoffs from the spot on the TV that we'll be doing for our first time in the history of the making. And if you already have seen the NBA uh, part of the playoffs, yeah, that's the one that happened last year, so this year could also be true. Well, too good to be true, anyway. Here is only one lineup that will be the captain here. It's only Jacob Chichern. We don't have any other players here from the Coyote section to take a look on the other side. And they will be playing against the Pittsburgh Penguins, Sidney Crosby. Look at him. He's doing really well. Not sure what he will be doing if the NHL uh, contractors are, are supposing him for Sidney Crosby to, uh, to stick with another team or to, uh, to stay on the same team and help them win and go to the, all the way in, in the playoffs. Then we have Chris Latang and Jake Gensel. That's the one that we are expecting here so far. So good for the player to be back on here. And I expected that, speaking of it, I will be heading to Pittsburgh this year in April. So, as we're being said here, March, it's going to be Boston, and April, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Home of the Pittsburgh Penguins, Steelers and Pirates here too, yeah. That's quite interesting though, you can never go wrong with that. In the meantime, let's get the game on. PPNG Arena is the is the next stop to be here in Pittsburgh. Let's give it a go. Eastern Conference and Western Conference hostilities are renewed on the ice tonight. Hi everybody, I'm James Zabulski along with Ray Ferrell for EA Sports continuing coverage of the NHL. Two guys offside, not picking up, didn't start going back. Take number two. Pittsburgh's won the draw in the neutral zone. The Penguins are on the attack. Deep 
in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fisher. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes the pass. Carter's got him in the offensive zone. Trying to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. He grabs the puck here on the point. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Closer to the midway mark of this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Penguins win the faceoff. Skates across the blue line. Takes the feed. Arizona's got control of it now from the road end. Into the offensive zone. Great reach with the hook check. The Coyotes have it now.
the frozen disc gets dropped and we are back in the way here. Getting a little physical over there, but still holds on to the puck. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Now he takes it over the line. Quick beat down low. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Season score by number two, Chad Bradwell. Time at a goal, 520 left to play in the first period. Nine shots on goal for Pittsburgh and and two for Arizona. Assist there by number eight. And now it's grabbed by Dueling. Take it up, take it up. Moves it to Vulcan. And they won't connect on that one. Amos Stubus. The Coyotes take it across the line. Time to go. And he comes up with it. 1.45 to play in first period. The the point. 12 shots on goal for, for Pittsburgh and three for Arizona. Last minute of the first period of game. Intercepted. Slides the puck over to Erickson. Here he is from the slot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Chari. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Coyotes win the face off. Here he is, Rissa. Closed off, 2-0. We'll be right back after this one. 
Off into the second period. Let's get it back in the game. All right, I think my partner in crime, Ray Ferraro, is rested and refreshed along with the teams. We're ready to get things underway. Team penalty, Arizona and Pittsburgh, two minutes for fighting. I think they found the tooth that was lost, and both teams now back inside the faceoff circle. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Kessel. Play it through. Chris won. Oh, it's a piece of it with the goal. And he came up and challenged a good save. here with the play starting to break down in front of them. Lots of time left in this period. The Penguins lead this one to zip. The singles won the draw here in the offensive zone. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Take this draw. Arizona's won the draw. Tosses it to Strawman. Here's a short pass to Larson. And now it's over to Chiprin. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards.
It's her goal. It's first goal of the season. It's it's score by number 28. Pikaupaskivi. Time of the goal, 1336 to go. In second period. Fifteen shots on goal for Pittsburgh. And Seven shots on Arizona. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And now it's grabbed by Rust. Unleashes a can. Oh, it stops again. Going to have to work a lot harder to beat him tonight, I guess. There's two excellent saves in a row. Playing big in the moment there. No loose change around the front. I like the way he directs this into the corner. Tries to make a diagonal pass to Latang. 
second period. Four to one is your score. We'll stick with us for the last period. One more period to go. It'll be a great day for hockey for Pittsburgh Penguins. 
Penguins carry it along the wall. Puck sent across the blue line. And he makes the easy save. And there's the save. Dubovic's value was on the ice here, playing hockey, generating chances. He got frustrated and got it. I see on Arizona. at practice and that's why he can skate backwards so smoothly in game. We call that his in reverse zone ability guys. Beagles won it off the face off. Gosta Bears moving the puck through his own zone. On the attack along the boards. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And now it's grabbed by Dumoulin. Skates across the blue line. Leave it offside already. Possession along the wall. Moves the puck to Hayden. What's the open space at center? Here's a shot. Scores! Another open down by a couple. I guess it gives them a chance. But they've got to score again quick. Arizona's narrowed the gap here in the third, but still a long way to go, Brad. James, this is still way. Down the road to even Arizona goal, his first goal of the game, scored by number nine, Clay Tinkello. Time of the goal, 8.38 to go, 4-2. 13 shots for Arizona and 21 for Pittsburgh Penguins. Score by number 10, Ryan Zangel. Also assisted by by from Arizona, the uh, Kilts. Time of the goal, seven minutes to go in the fourth. Twelve shots for Arizona and 21 for Pittsburgh Penguins. Getting closer to the end of the game. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck over. Skates in behind the cage.
sometimes it's the icing. Icing on penguins. A critical draw here. Last minute in the third period of the game. to try to do dates more. Time for the three stars of the players of the game. Here's number three. The third star goes out to Johan Larson. One goal, one assist, and one hit. Didn't really want to hesitate that much, but that's a, like the best play that he had. The second star we are going for is Brian Rust. One goal, one hit. Just like that. If you've seen the breakaway or right around it, that's a slap. And take it out of here with the odd man rush. And your number one star is Zach Aston Reese. Only two assists in this game. He really never got a he chance to hesitate that point. Really took it all. Total shots turned out to be 43 for Arizona. But 38 for Pittsburgh was gone less. 13 hits. 7 hits. 5 minutes and 21. 11 minutes and 10 on Pittsburgh. Passing was great for Arizona, but Pittsburgh is not quite enough to get right through it. 24 wins for Arizona and 4 13 for Pittsburgh. 
and no penalty uh, being played here for the power play, but only the fight that turned out to be five minutes. So that being said, thank you for watching for the NHL, part of a game of Pittsburgh Penguins and Arizona Coyotes. We'll have another Canadian matchup here, and we will come back to it right along the way. We'll see how this one goes, but if it doesn't turn out that well, then, you know, it's tough when you think. Thank you for so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everyone, for as a while as the NHL 22 dial. Adios.